Yeah. Well, you're talking about a myriad of leaders. You're not just talking about a single individual. Right. And I see a lot of people just be sitting back waiting on a messiah. They're waiting on right. that one person. And, but they are too, though. Who's that? The other side is far more diligent about looking for that messiah than we are because they know where to look. You probably wonder, why do white people pay so much attention to black people if they don't like them? You would think if you didn't like something, why would you right. be paying attention to it? I don't pay attention to things I don't like. What's the answer? The answer is the liar knows what lie he told. Collusion. All the parties involved have silently agreed, even perhaps without ever talking to each other, they've silently agreed to just not discuss this subject. It's embarrassing and frightening to Jews to consider the possibility that they may actually be descendants of converts and may have very little Israeli blood in them. So they just ignore it. It's collusion. Now, if I were to tell you that blacks, for as many centuries as whites have been uh, superior, if you want, in the Western world, that for just as many centuries blacks were superior, you'd probably find that hard to believe. And you'd wonder how such a fact could be hidden. And the answer is again, collusion. The whites wouldn't want to admit such a thing, because whites like to feel superior, and like to think that their superiority is somehow permanent, decreed by God. As for blacks, if you look into the black civilizations that we're going to take a look at momentarily, you find something pretty interesting. You find that those civilizations actually arose as Jewish civilizations. Now, we live in a nation where blacks are taught that whitey got ahead by being a liar and a thief. So today's so-called black leaders get on the air and proclaim that the way to get ahead in America is for the black man to be a better liar and thief than whitey. I don't know about you, but I've thought about this matter, and there's no question in my mind as to where these so-called black leaders come from. They were put up there by whitey. Now I'm not going to name any names. But the truth of the matter is that the roots of black greatness historically lay in Judaism. So the blacks who are teaching today that the answer to the question, how do you get ahead, is get the money, dollar dollar bill, y'all. You folks know who I'm talking about, and that's what they teach. They don't want to hear any talk about God, so they just ignore it. You see what I'm saying? So even if I made it deceitful and I made you think that the answer is over here, but the answer is really over here, I'm still going to be looking over here. Me, the one that tricked, because I know this is the right answer. Black people have lost their identity, but our oppressors have not lost our identity.